Hello YouTube world, thanks for checking in the Cali's Take. If it's your first time to the channel, please like, subscribe. Also leave any uh, comments in the comment section. Also hit the notification bell so you can get the newest content first. And you wanna check out some of my older videos, uh, my videos prior to this one. I think you'll like what I'm saying in the content and uh, leave some uh, comments on those as well. Now the take of the day I wanna get into is um, when we talk about Stephen A. Smith or Stephen A. on Kawhi Leonard, you know, it just seems like every time Stephen A. Smith gets a chance, he takes a shot at Kawhi Leonard. And I, I really don't understand why he does these things or is adamant about, you know, doing these, saying these things about Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi needs to step up. Kawhi needs to show up. Kawhi needs to do this and do that. First of all, you sit there on that show every day talking about what somebody else needs to do and how they need to show up. First of all, you need to shut up. You know nothing about Kawhi Leonard like the rest of the world doesn't. The man doesn't talk. The man doesn't do anything wrong. The man never did anything wrong to you. And in all the commercials that you and the other media hyped up about him with the crown and all this other stuff in his car, you know, dangling from the keychain, he's the Kawhi Town King of LA. You media people made that into a story. I never heard Kawhi Leonard say a damn word about what he is. It's, it's, uh, he's the king of LA. He's taken over LA. No, if he puts Kawhi Town in a commercial for an ad, okay, so what? That doesn't mean anything. They put billboards in Hollywood and everywhere else all the time for ads. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean he's implementing that. No, it just means you're sitting there speaking for him because you don't favor him. Because you just, you, you don't want nobody to take LeBron's spot. And I understand that, because you have everybody has their favorites. And Shannon Sharp is the same way. You know, you sit there and defend LeBron, LeBron, LeBron. Get off LeBron for a little while. LeBron is a great player, but we all know, Mike, Michael Jordan is always gonna be the greatest player of all time. That was already written in stone, it's already there. LeBron can't do nothing about it. He is four and six in the finals. That's not good enough. Michael Jordan never lost the finals. Matter of fact, I think it's disrespectful for them not to even put Kobe up there. Kobe is five and two or five and three in the finals. He has a better record in the NBA finals than LeBron James. But that's another story for another take. But my thing is Stephen A. Smith just really needs to get off Kawhi Leonard. He really needs to understand that Kawhi does nothing to you. He doesn't care about you. He doesn't know you. And for the simple fact that you're trying to you're, you're, you're trying to diminish everything that he's already accomplished just because the Clippers had a bad season last year. Teams have bad seasons all the time. And matter of fact, the Clippers had a good season last year. It's just Kawhi didn't show up for one game. Well, there's been a lot of players who actually have had 3-1 leads or there's been other players who've had 3-1 leads and didn't finish it. Like Stephen Curry, nobody talks about him. What about Golden State Warriors against the um, against the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers in 2016, 2017? What happened? They was up 3-1. They lost. They lost against LeBron and Kyrie. Okay. Then Kobe Bryant. The late, great Kobe Bryant. God rest his soul. But Kobe Bryant was up 3-1 against the Phoenix Suns. Lost a 3-1 lead. This is what I'm saying. It happens. You cannot castrate a player because something like that happens. The player is still great. The player still has time to redeem themselves. The player still has a long career ahead of them. Kawhi Leonard has done too many good things in this league. Defensive defensive player of the year a couple times, two-time MVP, and won one to one won his MVPs against LeBron James and the big three in Miami Heat. At a young age, this was a young Kawhi who did that. But nobody talks about that. Nobody talks about what is career, what, what is Kawhi career versus LeBron. When they go head to head. Kawhi, went, Kawhi has a, a winning record against LeBron, but nobody talks about that. Stephen A doesn't speak on that. 
Stephen A speaks on everything against Kawhi Leonard because he knows Kawhi Leonard is a big threat to LeBron. LeBron got lucky last year without, you know, getting, having to face Kawhi Leonard, which, you know, that's not LeBron's fault, but still, I really wish analysts like Stephen A. Smith would shut the hell up because you're talking and you really don't know what you're talking about. Kawhi is a great player. And that's that. I've heard him say on takes before where, oh, well, he got smoked by Kevin Durant uh, when he was on OKC. Okay. But the year that the Spurs won the championship against Miami, who did they beat before they went to the NBA Finals? Didn't they beat OKC? Didn't they knock him out the playoffs? Yes, they did. Hasn't he faced Kevin Durant multiple times and has beaten Kevin Durant just as Kevin Durant has beaten him multiple times? It doesn't matter. Stop hating on Kawhi Leonard. The man never did anything to you. The man don't know you. The man don't owe you. Stop saying what he needs to do. What you need to do is shut the hell up and focus on your job and focus on what you need to be doing and talk about other players and what they should be doing. Don't sit there and single Kawhi out. The man has won two championships in this league, two-time finals MVP, two-time defensive player of the year, three-time all NBA. Kawhi's record speaks for itself. Now, is he better than LeBron? A lot of people will find that debatable or maybe a lot of people won't now, but really his record versus LeBron is better. Go look it up, go Google it. He's beaten LeBron in the NBA Finals. Has LeBron ever beat him in the NBA Finals? No. Technically, to this point, LeBron hasn't beaten Kawhi in a seven-game series before, but Kawhi has beaten him in a seven-game series before. So really, who's better? Who has the mental edge? So what I'm saying is, leave Kawhi alone, stop the hate, and just do your job with Max Kellerman. Because honestly, your show is trash. And that's why a lot of people look at Undisputed anyway. And that's probably the reason why you want to Skip Bayless to come back to your show so the ratings can go up even higher. Because without Skip Bayless, ESPN First Take is trash. Nobody really likes Max Kellerman. Nobody really uh, listens to Marcus Spears. Not, I mean, you know, he's good when it comes to basketball. I mean, football, but let's be real. So like I said, stop the hate. Leave Kawhi Leonard alone. This man's a champion. And I believe he'll be a champion again, whether this year or another year, he'll win another championship, at least one more, maybe two. So let's just see how the season plays out. Let's keep our mouth shut and let's just see what happens in the playoffs. Enough said, leave any comments in the comment section, whether you agree or disagree, this is my take on it. Till next time.